Hello, I'm Dr. Soya Agarwal. Here today, I want to discuss with you some basic and important information about heart and heart diseases. The heart is the pumping organ of the body, whose function is to collect all the deoxygenated blood from the body, oxygenate it, and recirculate it into the body. Our heart works 24 hours, and for this it needs uninterrupted 24-hour blood supply. Now, where does this blood supply to the heart come from? The heart has got a set of three coronary arteries running on its surface, made for this blood supply to the heart. These three coronary arteries are two on the left and one on the right side. They supply blood to the heart as per its needs, which vary with activity and heart rate. While you are resting, the heart runs at its basic rate. It has less blood oxygen requirements. While we're into an activity like running, brisk walking, exercising, these arteries meet the increased demand of the heart. But when the caliber of these coronary arteries fail to meet the demands of the heart as per its needs, the heart shows symptoms. Commonest amongst the symptom is pain, angina pain. The pain usually originates in the center of the chest and often radiates in most of the patients. It may radiate to the left arm, jaw, right arm, even back of the chest, and sometimes into the tummy up to the navel level. This angina pain may also come in other forms. Patients may feel it as pressure in the chest, heaviness in the chest, difficulty in breathing, tightness in the chest. Angina pain implies that the heart is not getting blood as per its needs and is working in blood-deficient condition. It's a way for the heart to signal that the person should reduce or halt the activity to reduce the workload. Most patients get this pain while walking or working, and on halting the activity or resting, pain is reduced or relieved. This is called stable angina. And when the patient gets similar kinds of pain, even while resting, it is called unstable angina. As mentioned earlier, the angina symptoms are because of deficiency in the blood supply. The main reason for this reduction in supply is the formation of blockage inside coronary arteries. Now, what's this blockage? Blockage is nothing else but deposition of cholesterol with other things like calcium in the inner walls of the arteries. This process of blockage formation is very slow. In a healthy individual, this blockage formation takes nearly 10 years to grow by approximately 3 to 4 percent. And there are various reasons related to your lifestyle and personal habits which are capable of increasing the speed of this blockage formation. For example, addictions, mainly smoking, followed by alcohol consumption and tobacco chewing. Certain diseases which are also related to and increases the risk of heart diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, and high cholesterol levels, and lifestyle changes like lack of exercise, binge eating, snoring, and high-fat diet. All these reasons increases the speed of blockage formation, and where in healthy individuals it is 3 to 4 percent per decade, it may go as high as 30 to 40 percent per decade. And that's why we are encountering that many youngsters and people less than 40 years of age, even in their 20s and 30s, are suffering from heart attacks in high percentages. And the ratio of heart diseases between male and female individuals is also getting close to 1 being nearly equal, almost similar in severity and number. So, if you adopt a healthy diet and lifestyle and lead a stress-free life, then you can save yourself to a great extent from heart blockages, diabetes, high blood pressure, and other chronic illnesses. All those patients harboring high percentage and amount of heart blockages always have angina-like symptoms and are under continuous risk of heart attack. What is this heart attack? Heart attack means sudden hindrance to the blood flow in the coronary arteries on the surface of the heart, which leads to a deficiency in the amount of blood reaching the heart muscle, and they begin to sustain damage. If this is not taken care of in time, this leads to permanent damage in that portion of the heart muscles. So, dead tissue is not functioning, and this reduces the pumping power, or ejection fraction, EF in medical terms, of the heart. In normal individuals, ejection fraction of the heart is 60 to 70 percent. In a heart patient, when ejection fraction reduces to less than 30, the patient shows symptoms like swelling in the legs and abdomen, breathlessness, low urine output, fatigue, and difficulty in lying down. For heart blockages, there are two treatments popular in modern medical science. The first is stenting, or angioplasty. The second is bypass surgery. 
What is stenting? In stenting, we reach to the level of blockage through a wire, a catheter, and the stent is expanded in the middle of the blockage. The stent pushes the plaque to the sides and giving a thorough way across it for the blood flow. Bypass surgery is opted when stenting is not possible or preferable. In this, they cut open your chest, reaching your heart, and attach any vascular graft from your legs or arm or mammary artery from your breast around the diseased or blocked portion or coronary artery. This gives a way for blood flow and again suffices blood supply to the heart. Both treatments are so far very good options for emergencies, but they both have limitations. If we talk about limitations of stenting or bypass surgery, both are invasive processes, so bear procedure-related risks. Secondly, both have limited access to major coronaries and their major branches, and that too usually to their first two-third portions. Thirdly, with both patients, usually they have to be on lifelong medications. Fourthly, both have their lifespan ranging from five to seven years for basic stents and up to 10 years for bypass grafts. And most importantly, none of these two can improve your ejection fraction. So if any patient with coronary blockage is not in any emergency, that is not in a situation like heart attack, and in patients those are having symptoms of angina even after invasive treatments and medications, for them are other treatment options available in modern medical science. Among these two such treatment options which I will brief you about today are chelation therapy or biochemical angioplasty and ECP, external counter pulsation. Both these treatments are both preventive and curative. That means if you are not a heart patient yet, you can take this treatment to prevent heart attacks and improve your heart health. And if you are a heart patient, then before stenting or bypass surgery or afterwards, you can take these treatments to improve ejection fraction and to get relief from these symptoms. ECP, that is external counter pulsation. This treatment is also known popularly as natural bypass. It has been approved by the US FDA in 1994. It is called natural bypass because it is capable of creating collateral circulation around your coronary blockages without surgery. In this treatment, big blood pressure-like cuffs are tied around your legs and buttocks, which, with external air pressure, pressurizes the blood from legs towards the torso and heart. In response to this blood flow, your coronary arteries improves in three stages. Firstly, the existing coronary arteries dilate to the maximum. Stage two, where the dormant or inactive coronary arteries get reactivated and blood flow in them is reestablished. In the final stage, new collateral arteries develop around block coronary arteries. These are called sister or helping collaterals. And because of these new collaterals supplying blood bypassing the blockage, this treatment got its name as natural bypass. With the help of these new collateral arteries, blood supply to your heart is improved, leading to reduction or complete eradication of inginal symptoms and the increase in the ejection fraction of the heart. The way ECP works for your heart, in the same way and at the same time, it also works for other vital organs like the brain, muscles, liver, intestines, thyroid, pancreas, kidneys, improving blood supply, and all. Thus, this treatment is also very helpful for cerebral vascular disease patients, stroke patients, chronic fatigue syndrome patients, malabsorption syndrome patients, which have problems with intestines and peripheral vascular disease patients. Now let us talk about the other treatment option, biochemical angioplasty or chelation therapy. As we discussed, blockages are made up of cholesterol and minerals like calcium. So this chelation therapy helps in cleaning out this calcium from your plaques. In chelation therapy, we inject certain compounds in your system, mainly EDTA. EDTA dissolve the calcium from these plaques and help in excreting them through urine. This reduces the plaque size and reduces the percentage of blockage in your arteries. Clearly, this not only cleans your coronary arteries, but all arteries of your body. Thus, patients of cerebral vascular disease and peripheral vascular disease also get benefited from this treatment. Both of these treatments have many benefits. 
Both treatments are both preventive and curative. They together have a combined success rate of 90 to 95 percent. They reach and treat you at the finer level of arteries also. They both help in managing hypertension and diabetes as well. And if mentioning ECP precisely, this is the only non-invasive treatment that helps in improving the ejection fraction of the heart. Many patients, in place of opting any treatment, remain on oral tablets. Oral medication is only a supportive treatment. It can give you relief from the symptoms temporarily, but it will not be able to reduce the blockages, and with time, blockages keep piling up. My personal experience is that where after stenting and bypass surgery, patients have a lot of restrictions. On the contrary, you feel more energetic and capable after ECP and chelation therapy. These treatments are so safe that even in patients in whom stenting and bypass cannot be given due to high risk, they also can effectively undergo these treatments and get benefited. Thank you. My name is Mr. Mahendra Kumar Gupta from Shambhu Nagar, Meerut. I am 68 years old. I was having maximum trouble with breathlessness and uncontrolled high blood pressure. I used to have severe breathlessness even on walking small distances. It was very difficult for me to climb stairs. On investigation, I was found to have four blockages in my coronary arteries and reduced blood supply. In Delhi, I heard about this treatment without surgery. I contacted them and took this treatment for 40 days. I took both types of treatment. One was BCA, biochemical angioplasty, and the other was ECP. After finishing this treatment, when I got reinvestigations done, the results were great. Out of four, Three of my blockages were completely dissolved and only one was left in reduced size. The blood supply to my heart was far better. Now I am practically feeling a lot better in walking. I don't get breathless so easy. My blood pressure stays below 130 over 90. Also, my BP medicines have reduced in dose from 20 milligram tablets to 5 milligram tablets. My name is Shilgumar Gupta. I am from Barali, UP. I had a heart attack, after which I was referred to Madanta Hospital, where I was recommended for ECP. Then my brother searched and found out about 34 heart care on the Internet. Since my sister stays close, I preferred this location. When I came here, I was in a very bad state. I wasn't able to eat, walk, or sit. I was having a lot of weakness and swelling. I took my first session in August of 2015 for about 45 days. I greatly benefited from this and now have come again in March 2016 for a repeat treatment. Thank you, 34 Heart Care. My name is Yogesh Mathur. I stay in Vaishali Gaishabad. I am 66 years old. I started having trouble after my heart attack two years back. I was in Dubai, UAE at the time, and had two stents there. After that, I came to India. And during my annual checkup, I was told that my heart had some new issues and I should prepare myself for another angiography and possibly angioplasty. When I realize that after a mere two years of angioplasty, I have issues and require repeat angioplasty, I searched on the Internet for alternative treatment options, which are economic and can save me from hospitalization and can provide a more durable treatment. I came to know about 34 Heart Care and fixed an appointment with a doctor here. I got my treatment started in July 2015 and finished in August. On repeat investigations of CT angiography, it showed tremendous improvement in the blood supply to the heart and arterial health. My breathing is a lot better. I feel very fresh and energetic also. Earlier, I used to feel breathless and tired on walking. All those symptoms have gone. 
I like the ambience and staff at 34 Heartcare. They are caring and cooperative. Their equipments are up to date and beddings are hygienic. I had no trouble at all and felt like home. I really like this treatment, which has no pain and no hospitalization and no surgery. Comfortably and without fear, go for this treatment. Improve your heart and make your heart young again. My name is Rusty. I'm from the United States and currently living in Central Asia. I uh, was diagnosed with PVD and uh, peripheral vascular disease and uh, was looking for non-surgical options uh, for treatment and uh, discovered ECP and through the internet and much searching uh, ended up contacting several places in India and went with 34 heart care for my treatments. My experience with 34 Heart Care was outstanding. Uh, I don't think I've received as personalized treatment uh, anywhere I've ever been, and I've had over 20 some odd surgeries, so I know what uh, personalized medical treatment would feel like. Uh, the results of the treatment were, I had 36 treatments. Uh, uh, I'm very pleased with the results of the treatment. However, in the process I discovered uh, the complications with my PVD were probably a little bit more extensive than I would have expected when I came, which is good news and to be able to improve from walking maybe a hundred meters with, and then having to stop for a minute or two to I now can go over three kilometers uh, without stopping and hardly any pain whatsoever, so greatly improved. I would recommend 34 Heart Care to uh, anybody who's looking for this treatment. Uh, it's hard to put words to individualized personal care. The technicians, the doctors, went out of their way to help me with any and every need I would have as a foreigner in this country. Uh, they, they made, they made uh, really good accommodations for us. They provided drivers to come and get us. Uh, since we are from another culture and another place, I cannot overstate the value of that. 34 Heart Care Visit us at www.34care.com.